My name is Brendan McManus. I'm a Jesuit priest. I'm from Fermanagh in Northern Ireland. Originally I was brought up on a farm with all that means about family and faith and working outdoors, just a lovely upbringing. But then subsequently I was working in computers in England in information technology and I had this big lifestyle, you know, with the sports car and the, the girlfriend and the parties and the trips overseas and the American Express credit card. And it, it seemed to be the greatest thing, you know, and I remember I, I let a lot of my faith go at that stage. But something happened to me in the middle of all that, like something happened that I couldn't enjoy life anymore. I stopped, you know, getting, getting uh, what I was getting out of life at that stage. And I was feeling very empty and feeling quite low in a lot of ways. I remember it came to a head one day where I had, uh, I had a nosebleed at work. And uh, I remember going to the bathroom and, you know, washing my face and looking up at myself and thinking, you know what, I'm really unhappy here. Like I'm really not enjoying this and this is not who I am. Even though everybody else thought this was great. My family, my friends, the workers and everything thought this was the greatest thing. But something in me rebelled against that. Something in me was telling me this is, this is not right or this is not good or this is not the way you should be going. And that call, that kind of uneasiness drove me to do this retreat on the Isle of Wight, which is on the south coast of England with the, the Benedictine monks down there. So I showed up there one Friday evening in my sports car, not knowing anything about retreats or even how to pray through it. And I remember spending that weekend was key for me, just get some quiet time, just get away from the, the activity. And there was one night sitting in the church one night and it was just the light of the sanctuary lamp, just that red glow at the front. I'm in the church on my own, church is in darkness and I'm just sitting there. And I suddenly had this moment of insight, if you like. I mean, it wasn't a big earth shattering thing, but it was a really quiet, slow release of this insight about you have to, you have to leave this place. You have to move away from this thing that's not good for you. You have to make some changes. You have to find where the life is. Looking back, I can see that was, that was God working with me at that, at that stage. I didn't really know what was going on, but I knew this was an instruction to do something. So I remember going back, eventually resigning from my job and eventually emigrating to Australia and then setting up a whole new life there with different priorities. I was, I was still working in IT, but I was exploring other things to do with my faith, to do with who I was, where I was going, how I was going to spend my life, I'm doing workshops on meditation. I, I found out there was a Jesuit retreat house nearby in, in Sydney. And I used to go there weekends, do courses. I was doing some retreats or whatever. And things started to go really well for me in Australia. Then. I had a great job and the girlfriend, friends, etc. And still that wasn't enough. You know, there was still something going on. And eventually I discovered it was, the, it was the Jesuit thing. I was getting really closer and closer to the Jesuits and spending more time. And it was just as simple as I just felt at home there. I felt at home. I felt as if I belonged. I felt as if I had come home to myself, that this is who I was. Again, very simple, no big earth shattering revelation, just a very simple, quiet feeling at home, feeling this is the right place for me. And then that huge process of signing up for the Jesuits and applying to join the Jesuits. And I remember at that stage, I used to fax, this is back in 1992, I used to fax from work to the Jesuit vocation promoter and he would fax back. I would have to get into work early to get the fax off the machine before anybody saw it. And, uh, and then eventually resigning, going home to do the interviews for the Jesuits and then eventually joining the Jesuits. And then a whole new lifestyle, obviously, you know, having to, having to give up certain things. But getting much more, I think, getting much more, certainly in terms of fulfillment and in terms of feeling at home with myself. And the Jesuit formation is very good at working who you, who you are, who you are with God, what your life is about, and especially having a sense of mission. And my mission is often about accompanying people on their journeys because I've been on quite a journey myself. 
So I'm able to listen to people, I'm able to help people work through different situations, work out where God is calling you, and to listen to that voice, that little inner voice, which is God calling us, and God giving directions, and God bringing us to a better place. So helping people to wake up to the reality of their lives and where God is in the middle of that. So finding God in their lives, I would say that's been my journey, and it's been a great journey, and it's all thanks to that experience I had working in England, being unhappy and listening to that and following that, and that's brought me to where I am today.